Welcome, 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 my fellow adventurers, to another episode of the Skyrim Read Along series. Now, this is going to be a good one. It's not the one I promised from last video, but nonetheless, it is a literary banger. It's called A Children's Anuad, and explains the lore of the game in a very digestible way. If you're someone who's interested in getting into the vastness of Elder Scrolls lore, and let me tell you, there's a lot of Elder Scrolls lore, this is a great introduction into the insane and, let's be honest, coke-induced world of it. So without further ado, let's dive into today's story, A Children's Anuad. The first ones were brothers, Anu and Padome. They came into the void, and time began. As Anu and Padome wandered the void, the interplay of light and darkness critted near. Both Anu and Padome were amazed and delighted with her appearance, but she loved Anu, and Padome retreated from them in bitterness. Nir became pregnant, but before she gave birth, Padome returned, professing his love for Nir. She told him that she loved only Anu, and Padome beat her in rage. Anu returned, fought Padme, and cast him outside time. Nir gave birth to creation, but died from her injuries soon after. Anu, grieving, hid himself in the sun and slept. Meanwhile, life sprang up on the twelve worlds of creation and flourished. After many ages, Padme was able to return to time. He saw creation and hated it. He swung his sword, shattering the twelve worlds in their alignment. Anu awoke and fought Padme again. The long and furious battle ended with Anu the victor. He cast aside the body of his brother, who he believed to be dead, and attempted to save creation by forming the remnants of the twelve worlds into one, Ner, the world of Tamriel. As he was doing so, Padme struck him through the chest with one final blow. Anu grappled with his brother and pulled them both outside of time forever. The blood of Padme became the Daedra. The blood of Anu became the stars. The mingled blood of both became the Aedra, hence their capacity for good and evil, and their greater affinity for earthly affairs than the Daedra, who have no connection to creation. On the world of Nern, all was chaos. The only survivors of the Twelve Worlds of Creation were the Elnofei and the Hist. The Elnofei are the ancestors of Mer and Men. The Hist are the trees of Argonia. Nern was originally all land, with interspersed seas but no oceans. A large fragment of the Elnofei world landed on Nern intact, and the Elnofei living there were the ancestors of Mer. These Elmonofe fortified their borders from the chaos outside, hid their pocket of calm, and attempted to live on as before. Others arrived on there and scattered amid the confused jumble of the worlds, wandering and finding each other over the years. Eventually, the wandering Elmonofe found the hidden land of old Elmonofe, and were amazed and joyful to find their kin living along the splendor of ages past. This wandering group expected to be welcomed into the peaceful realm, but old Elnofe looked on them as degenerates, fallen from their former glory. For whatever reason, war broke out and raged across the whole of Nerun. The old Elnofe retained their ancient power and knowledge, but the wanderers were more numerous and toughened by their long struggle to survive on Nerun. This war reshaped the face of Nerun sinking much of the land beneath new oceans and leaving the lands as we know them, Tamriel, Akavir, Atmora, and Yukuda. The old Onofe realm, although ruined, became Tamriel. The remnants of the wanderers were left divided on the three other continents. Over many years, the Onofe of Tamriel became the Mer Elves, which are broken up into the Dwemer, the Deep Ones, sometimes called Dwarves, the Chimer, the Changed Ones, who later became the Dunmer, the Dunmer, the Dark or Cursed Ones, which are called the Dark Elves, the Bosmer, the Green or Forest Ones, who are called the Wood Elves, and finally, the Alder, the Elder or High Ones, the High Elves. 
On the other continents, the wandering Elnofe became the men, the Nords of Atmora, the Redguards of Ikuda, and the Taseki of Akavir. The Hists were bystanders in the Elnofe War, but most of their realm was destroyed as the war passed over it. A small corner of it survived to become Black Marsh and Tamriel, but most of their realm was sunk beneath the sea. Eventually, men returned to Tamriel. The Nords were first colonizing the northern coast of Tamriel before recorded history, led by the legendary Ysgrimor. The thirteenth of his line, King Harald, was the first to appear in written history. And so, the mythic era ended. So, now you know just a little bit more about this crazy, mixed up world of Nern. It's a complex place, full of many interesting groups of people, and cat people, and lizard people, and elf people. I realize now I probably should have started with this book to help anyone who isn't really up to date on Elder Scrolls lore, but oh well, here we are, can't go back. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. This has been Brian, and let's meet up next time for another episode of Aetherfall. Bye for now.